Welcome back to a new podcast. We're in a Fort Knox booth. The best safes that money can buy right here. Fort this Knox. one here, this this looks like your type. You really? Wear, you wear clothes that you probably have you'd probably put your shoes in no, here. Oh, I'm like a flat black satin finish yeah, kind of guy. Yeah. This is like if Master P or like yeah. P. Diddy had a safe. If P. Diddy he would have one, he'd have this. He'd have all you have in there is is a couple 45s that only go this way. Right, the sideways yeah, kind. Yeah, the sideways guy. The sights are actually on the side. Yeah, and then probably, Why don't they build that? I Someone don't know. They put the side down there, you know. Yeah. Dude, this I one, think we just created a product. Let's do it. Dude, let's start a business. It's badass. Let's start a business. Speaking of badass. Yeah, okay, we've had Shacho. awesome guests. Yes. There's so many ass kickers. Every guy here is walking around with big muscles in a backpack. I know, I'm you feeling a little self-conscious. Like, <laughs> I mean, so, who do we got today, man? Who do we got? So today I brought in, uh, full disclosure, one of my best friends on planet Earth, wow. but uh, one of the biggest, best ass kickers I know. Uh, everybody knows, you know, you can throw a rock at SHOT Show and hit a Special Forces guy. Yeah. All right. I think the elite of the elite are the... By the, the way, I have, too, and it's not... I wouldn't no, don't that. do that. I Holy wouldn't advise moly. that. that if one. you're looking for a beatdown, <laughs> yeah. go ahead and throw the rock. Yeah. But, uh, seriously, I think the, the best of the best, uh, and I think everyone agrees with me, the U.S. Navy SEALs. Okay. And uh, from Team One, Mr. Jared Ogden. Come on in. Jared. Woo! What's up? You, Thank you very much. Hey, I appreciate man. that. Awesome, Good to see you. How you doing? Thanks Good to meet to you. Podcast. Yeah, on, absolutely, man. absolutely. That's what we do nowadays. I That's guess. right. Right so on. Just the, bro, on the bro hug, right? Yeah. The bro hug. Hey, yeah, we got the half. blinged out safe thing. Dude, look at this Super safe. Blinged. The same thing this as thing, the bro man. hug. I think That's truthfully, where we keep all our necklaces, man. Our big, our big fat watches. Air Jordan. Is this gold from your mind? This is this is solid gold. I hear that you're uh, this solid gold here too. Nice. Yeah. Is, is it from your operation? <laughs> oh yeah, you know it. Where do you, you where, know where, it. where are you at right now? Oh Three mil? shoot, I don't know. I've gotten a up lot there. of gold. Up there, I, you playing, know, playing. Sometimes <laughs> I, I do good. Sometimes I do bad. I hear you, man. In your business, you don't want to ever do bad, am I right? Uh, no, as a, uh, I, I assume you mean the uh, the thing I used to do. Well, I guess. Yeah, I bad know. day. What do you used to do? Be a dancer or what? They used to whack bad guys. <laughs> hey, we're n we're not Whoa. talking about the dancing thing. Okay? <laughs> whack them and stack them. That's right. Wow. Yeah. Let, let the Lord sort them out, huh? Something like that. Um, so tell uh, me about it, man. I'm curious. Well, you are right. A bad day in, in the office in that profession is. Uh, it means something. The consequences are a lot more than a, a bad day in the office right. uh, for, for what most Americans do. Um, but yeah, I used to be a Navy SEAL and uh, it was a good eight year run, for, uh, four deployments total when I was active duty from 2004 to 2012. Wow. And uh, after I left the teams, I contracted for a, few, for a few years. I made a television show on National Geographic really? Channel. Oh, that's cool. And, uh, and, and what I'm doing when you now. Guys, when you say the teams, that means SEAL teams, right? That's right. When I say the teams, the teams. I mean the SEAL teams. Yeah. Now, every time I've met a Navy SEAL, they're, they're kind of like you or, or short, mostly guys. And you don't see any overweight guys. Why no, is that? Not a whole lot. I think some of them. <laughs> Carry a, is it the running? Is it the? I think the really in shape guys are like super marketing themselves after <laughs> the teams. Yeah, oh. But I think in teams it was actually better if you're doing a lot of cold water work to carry a little bit of weight on. Really? You. Yeah, I, know, right? I absolutely agree with that. So are when you're out in the water a lot, you're out just in tons, quite a bit. Yeah. Why is that? Because you're getting dropped off and you're coming in on boats and you got to swim in, or what is it? Why? Yeah, we, we are masters of over the beach. We can get we can insert from from oceans and we can cross rivers. Uh, basically, there is nothing uh, man made or God made that we cannot figure out how to get across to accomplish the mission. Now, Todd's wow. been known to insert in oceans and rivers as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do elaborate. I want to hear <laughs> no, this. No, we're not going to go into that. Cause a mega so trauma. Me, uh, when you were deployed, you said how many times? Four. So four. I, I what deployed country? What, all, what? all 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 CENTCOM, all. all Middle East deployments. Yeah, three is a SEAL, uh, and one is a surface warfare officer. Before I became a SEAL, I drove boats around in the Navy. You drove them around. Like I drove them around. Like they would give me a water little. Water skiing. They, they would give me downtime. You were the yeah, guy. Yeah, you were the yeah, guy exactly. that pulled the. Tell me about it, man. Well, Talk talk about going through buds, you know, and becoming a seal. Is What's that a bud? Buds is there. Uh, Come on, I'm a layman here. I'm just well. A, explain civilian. what buds I'm is. I'm a civilian. Let's 
Let's break it down because probably sure. most people don't know. Sure. What's a bud? Buds. Uh, so bu oh, buds, buds is the Navy SEAL selection course. It stands for Basic Underwater Demolition Slash Seals. And it's the schoolhouse. It's a six-month program to, uh, where, where Buds candidates, SEAL candidates, uh, they, they go to, uh, it's basically selection to the SEAL teams. Wow. It's uh, 75, 80% attrition. Most wow. people do not make it. And uh, those who do make it are better off for it, and it's a very strong community. 75 wow. to 80 percent attrition. Yes. So around 20, 25 percent make it through. Correct. Yeah. That is crazy. Pers perspective: More people enter the NFL every single year than there are Navy SEALs created. Wow. Yeah. And so right now we're like saying, swimming in a sea of so SEALs we here. Got yeah. A, yeah. We got so, a better chance in the NFL. Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> so, so another perspective. Yeah, uh, largest population dummy. of seals, San Diego and Virginia Beach, and then this week, during yeah. the year, Las Vegas at Shot Show. That's right. Really, huge, it oh, has yeah. to be. This is, this is like a family re reunion. When you see other seals, do you guys like? Hey, yeah, we got we got a little we, we a got a little a little brotherhood, you know, look, nod. No one, no one else even knows what we're doing, but we yeah. know. We really? Do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we do. Now, you, see, that's you, something you do. I don't really know, yeah, actually. Yeah, you, when you walk into a room, you can pick out who the who the commandos are. Crazy. Yeah. Not by looking at their pants. Not by... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not that kind of commando. When I say commando, I mean something else. Ugh. All right, well, give I'm us, a... Give us one, like, badass story that you could tell that, you know, because we kind of wonder about, yeah, you're... you're deployed and you've done this and you can't talk about certain give us a story that you can talk about um wow okay yeah, well cool i there there's a lot of stories it's funny buds is um obviously a lot of uh, a lot of in shape a lot of very gifted talented accomplished people go to buds 80 percent wash out so you're you're dealing with uh Why you know he looking at me when he said that <laughs> dude i'd make it right through no problem I, I remember it, you did tell me at one point, I asked, well, how did you make it through? Because right. it is very difficult. Yeah. You said, because I decided I'm either going to make it or I'm going to die. And that's just in the training. Right. Wow. My, so you got to go my, all my, in. my attitude was I will make it through this selection program or I will die trying. And, to, and, and here's a story about, about mindset. And this is, uh, you know, my attitude in combat and my attitude in the battlefield, I bring that to the boardroom now as, as a businessman. But uh, Buds, to me, uh, it's, it's always been a reference point. So when I went to Buds and I thought I was a badass and on top of the world and could do anything, one, you got to have that attitude when you go there. But what I didn't realize is I went to Buds, when I went to Buds, I only uh, used four gears, like, like, a, like a, a standard transmission. Right. Okay? I was only operating using four gears. But to make it through that program, you have to self-realize that you actually have a fifth gear in an overdrive. So you take that forward, you can apply it in any situation, and now I can mentally shift to fifth gear or overdrive that fast. It doesn't matter if I'm trying to close a sale. It doesn't matter if I'm in the grind, staying up all night trying to make my business work. Um, it what is, is it, man? What are you doing? What's Triumph Systems? Uh, so, I, so I started this company about two years ago. Uh, I've been selling products for about 18 months now. Sales are going great. We make targets. We are in the target category. Uh, something that prior to us coming on the scene, so I'm sure was, you brought a target with you. I did, you? yeah, absolutely. Can, can you show it? Hey, yeah. you want to grab it? One of um, yeah, Where here we they? go. So th this is one of my skews. This is the uh, ethical harvest, and it's it's a turkey. All of these pods right here are filled up with biodegradable, water soluble gel. So what it does for the end user is when you when you hit the turkey head or the neck, you get instant feedback. Those pods pop. They are a lot of fun to shoot. And if you're shooting at a distance, you know, you can't see where your rounds are impacting on paper. But right. with this, you would get that instant feedback and you know where your shots are going. A lot of fun. And it's pretty cool. He's got some cool ones too where they're zombies and Terrorist. killer clowns. He's got a bunch of other products too, but yeah. I, I want to cool, swing yep. back around to yep. what you're saying, going in as an individual, thinking you're a badass. How much did you have to learn to rely on your team? Uh, I, I've never done anything in my life that was great without a, a great team behind me. So, you know, going in, going into Buds as an officer, uh, I mean, it's, it's a steep learning curve to leadership. How do you lead people that are more gifted, more talented than you? Faster, stronger, smarter, whatever it is. 
So yeah. really, you know, you lead by example, you take ownership when something goes wrong, when something goes right, you give all that credit to the team. And uh, it, you know, if you follow those three things, it works in the SEAL teams and it works, and that's what I do at my business. I haven't so done anything, it's my team. Immediately yeah. you have to come in though with a very humble attitude uh, towards the whole thing. I, I, I find it fascinating that someone that is as accomplished as you, because you went to Naval Academy, you, you graduated, awesome. you went into BUDS as an officer, like you said, it has to be hard to, to humble yourself, unless you just find the caliber of people that are surrounding you to be that, that great, you know, well, because you've done amazing things. And by the way, thank you uh, from Todd and myself and everybody else here. Yeah, man. Can we get a round of applause for our SEALs? Yeah, man. Yeah. What you do in the field, you know, literally keeps us safe so that we can do the things that we want to do here. And I know part of your business philosophy is to bring some of your training to the masses. I, I just don't know how you, how someone that's as awesome as you just humbles yourself like that. Two, two of the most underrated uh, attributes in, in, to, to any leader is humility and authenticity. It's, it's one of those things that a lot of leaders, because they're so accomplished, overlook or forget about. But uh, I mean, I. I can only do great things because I'm surrounded by great people. And to right. that note, rising tides raise all boats. So if the people around me, if the people on my team, if I can make them better, and if I can challenge them and get them better than me, they're gonna do the same thing to me. And we all just, we get better as a team. We accomplish the mission yes. that I'm much getting, faster. I'm getting so much knowledge here. I don't even wanna say anything. I'm just kind of learning. You, you know what I mean? I, let me tell you, sense? by the way, you're going to be friends with him the rest of your life, Todd. Dude, You're going to be able to pick his brains yeah, forever. I don't have very many friends. This is, that's pretty <laughs> cool, man. What about training? Do you ever go out and do any private training, shooting? And uh, so not not so much. Uh, I try to stay focused on my core competency, company? which is which is targets. Uh, I do. I, I will. I'll take my targets out, and I will uh, show law enforcement. I'll show uh, military people uh, best practice for training. In fact, next month uh, I'm going to one of our uh, allied countries in the Middle East who made a large purchase order with me. I'm going out there to set up all of their systems and, oh, uh, and, and then cool. work with their training sergeants. Train the trainer is what we call it. Yeah. Uh, but show them best practice for training. So I do that a little bit, but I try to stay focused on my targets, on my products, and just keep the innovation going because that's how, that's my contribution yeah. to our law enforcement community and our military now. How can somebody follow you? Instagram, Facebook, uh, where are you at? Yeah, so I do, uh, I do Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, right. When you guys say app, I think food, I'm old school, so I don't do that Snapchat thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. but, but I do, I do those We're three things. We're too old, let's be yeah, honest. Yeah, I'm too, I'm too old. When you say app, I think old. food. But Jared W. Ogden is all of my handles, my company, Triumph Systems. You can search for us and find us on yeah. everything but that Snapchat one. We don't do that one. That's for like little kids or something. I don't know. <laughs> Let me. Okay. It's the future. I one, guess it is the future. One, so. One last question. <laughs> yes, sir. You're looking at me and you're looking at Chris. How would you kill me with one strike? And how would you kill Chris with one strike? Well, what would you do? A, a good tactician, a good commando never reveals that, but I would start with your goatees on both you guys. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're, we really got to cut this. What are you laughing out. at? Yeah. Come on. What are you laughing at? You're a big old target, man. Rick. Yeah, the snake man's here. You can't shake him. You can't, you can't shake him. can't shake the snake. No, you can't shake the snake. <laughs> Nor do we want to. No, not well, more let's than three times. close this out, man. Thanks hey, for coming Hey, I appreciate in. it. Thanks so yeah, much for thanks, having man. me. Thank this you. This is your product? That's your product. We got that? Yeah, that's yours, man. I brought it, it for you. Oh, man. I brought it for you. Awesome, man. You didn't. Chris didn't get one. I just got one. Chris, come and see me later. All right, I will. All right, cool. Hey, thanks I got so the shirt. Much. Thank you. Thank you very much. It, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate Jared, it, brother. Thanks yeah, thanks. Yeah, appreciate it. Awesome, dude. So what do you think? Pretty cool because I got a target. Yes. Thank you very much. You know? Well, you got three targets in there. Is there three in there? So it's yeah. a three pack. So you right shoot here, and you can tell right where you hit. Yes. It splatters blood or, or splatters red and bleeds out. stuff. And then you know. Yep. You know where you're at. It's good for sighting in, get ready for hunting, stuff like that. That's My, badass. The bigger thing to me was, hey, I wanted to introduce you guys because I think yeah. you both are very successful at what you've done in life, uh, despite what the TV show might.
portray or not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, even for him, when he was on Ultimate Survival Alaska, yeah. Team Military, if they wanted to, would have won every yeah. time. You know. Yeah. Uh, and there's it's, heartaches it's, along the way, but yeah. being humble to yourself and then overcoming the odds that yeah. you might think are insurmountable, Adversity. having yeah. that do or die attitude yeah. for real because a bad a day at the young office kids could take something from him yes. and that's his attitude you're right all right man thanks thanks for watching again guys chris thanks thank man. you man appreciate fort, it fort knox safes we're in the booth catch us on the internet see you later